Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, please help us out by hitting that like and subscribe button. It really helps us out a ton. Thanks for watching, guys. It's uh, the, the Escudo old coin. Um, it's just a nice grade A55. Oh, really? So we are in New Orleans right now. Um, I'm about ready to go into one of the oldest coin shops in New Orleans. This place is amazing. This is James H. Cohen and Son. Um, they have a ton of really cool coins, a lot of older stuff, a lot of graded stuff. Um, literally, some of the stuff in here you will not see anywhere else that I, I, I've never seen anything like some of this stuff. So we're going to go in and we are going to take a look and show you guys some of the cool stuff. So let's go check it out. So I was just walking down the strip and basically I found this place. This is James H. Cohen and Son. This is a shop that specializes in not your bullion junk silver coins. They specialize in rare high-end coins. And I see the grandson of the original owner of the store. So we're gonna go over and we're gonna ask him a little bit about his store and see if he can tell me a little something about the place and the history kind of of the store. So how you doing today, sir? So we just happen to be walking down the strip hoping maybe you could tell us a little bit about your store because this is a pretty amazing place i mean you don't see rare coins like this i mean for the rare collectors tell me a little bit about your store so uh, my, my great great grandfather started uh his business in this building in 1898 and uh, i'm the fifth generation my grand we're, we're actually one of the oldest coin stores in america uh, starting in 1898 and then my grandfather was the one of the founding members of the Louisiana Numismatic Association, as well as the Crescent City Coin Club. And I believe the first meeting of the Crescent City Coin Club was in his basement. Wow. Um, so we, uh, we have a, a long history of numismatics in this city. Um, and we, yeah, we sell, sell, we try to sell everything, but we really try to really focus on key date pieces. Of course, we want better condition. It's not always easy to find. Um, and we're always buying collections. Um, most recently, we bought a collection that my grandfather sold. This person's grandfather, he bought it back and still had his handwriting on it. So that's what oh, makes, my word. That's what makes the business fun. And my grandfather always told me what made this really enjoyable was that he got to go on a treasure hunt every day in his life. That's what I love about coin collecting, <laughs> and I, I enjoy that. What would you say, it, to, to show something that someone probably don't see every day, would you recommend one specific coin here that you have that you can show? Um, that you want to show? Just, ancient, just I mean, one coin that you think the average person ain't going to have in their collection. So someone can maybe mouth water. Okay, let's take a walk over here. We try to have a lot of just regular bread and butter uh -huh. great coins. Um, I actually got invited to New Orleans um, by a friend of mine for a coin auction probably about a month or two ago. Is a NGC coin auction okay. that they had. It was maybe a couple months ago, okay. but he, he was going to come to it. And I was like, oh, I don't know. You know, so I kind of wish I had came because I would have found out about you guys a lot sooner. Yeah, you know, New Orleans has a great history of the New Orleans Mint was, was obviously here, um, and at one time the city was a major player in this country. I mean, it was one of the big cities of the South. Mm -hmm. Nice, right, not that way anymore. But um, I'm trying to find a really interesting, unique coin that you don't see every day. The problem is, is that when we get really great pieces, they leave. Yeah. Oh, I can imagine. <laughs> they don't stay here very long. Um, like we've got your 1909 SBDB, and we've got uh, now, beautiful tone coins. Now this over here, for my own, just my own knowledge, but I still want to come back and see that one of a kind. Is this multi, mostly like uh, um, more of like generic, all this stuff right here in yeah, these so, two? Yeah, so this is a common date, $20 gold piece, PCGS graded MS64. Um, 
what's amazing right now, the market on these, it's it's not it's almost being treated like a bullion coin. Yes. And so you, it's kind of cool that you can buy nicely uncirculated twenty dollar gold pieces. Um, yep, I I picked up a few. Um, <laughs> I, I almost just traded my 50 peso okay. um, the other day, but I got to the place and I was like, what I wanted, I, I changed my mind and just said, I'll pay cash because I saw gold fall and I said, no, nope, I'll just, I'd rather just pay cash and take it. So this is a neat coin. Okay. Like Can you tell me a little bit about this? So yeah, it's the, it's uh, the, the Escudo gold coin. Um, it's just a nice grade AU55. All those were mostly hand struck. Um, oh, really? It's just a neat coin. Um, and this is a 1516 coin? Oh my God. Well, somewhere so between minted, there. Yeah, between oh my there. word. That's probably the old, I mean, the oldest graded coin I've ever seen. Wow. You guys have a really, amazing. it's a nice example of that coin. Uh, the grades what really makes it unusual. Um, and I had some really great, great pieces. I see you got some nice Carson Cities. Yeah, Carson Cities. Um, and that's a pretty good price, too. You don't see that that often. You, know, we try to, you, guys, you guys definitely are price comparable. Well, I, mean, you, I mean, you tend to beat a lot of people, I'm sure. Well, you try. And it, it's... It's a competitive market, um, certainly online. And the reason why you don't see a lot of stores like us is because of the uh -huh. um, But there's something about coins that when you can look at it, hold it in your hand, and really inspect the condition yourself, instead of taking a person's word for it, or just there's something about that. And um, it makes it makes me more comfortable when I'm buying that I can actually look at the coin. Mm -hmm. now, a lot of people I know will look at the, the plastics and they'll say, okay, it's an MS-63, but they may not be studying why it's an MS-63. They should. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You got just so many to pick from. As, right, you, as I walk fun. around, I'm just, my eyes just keep wandering. I have a lot of different options. I mean, it, Really what is a royale? Have you heard of a coin? I guess they call them royales, royal reels, real reals, oh, Spanish. Okay. Spanish. I I follow one YouTuber that he does nothing but that, and I you know I've never held one in my hands. I've only seen some some little clips and pictures of them. Yeah, this is something. So this is a Spanish coin. Wow. Oh, my word. That's so pretty. Now, I know if it's great, there's no way it could be fake. But however, is this an item that tends to be faked once in a while or I not mean, really? Because sure. people don't know. There are there are reproductions, but typically they're not very good. And, and you can, from my experience, I, I've normally been able to pick out sort of the face. Uh -huh. This is an e-coin. Wow. That is from the 1715 wow. uh, uh, Spanish uh, plate fleet shipwreck. Oh, wow. How did it, was it something that, how did it get like this as a coin? I mean, it's, was it damaged? Was it just, they just struck it on a, a piece of, is this silver? It must be silver. That is silver. Wow. Take a look here. Oh, wow. That is pretty amazing. The history. Oh, my gosh. But, well, I thank you so much for showing us around. And you have an amazing store. Um, I'm going to probably work my way back over and look at some of the bullion. And uh, especially when you can pick them up at pretty close to spot right now. I mean, on some of the bullion stuff, it's, it's definitely... Gold and silver's been falling. I mean, what do you think? A great buying opportunity? I mean, that's that's the uh, that's the magic you know question right there. I don't think it can go any lower personally. With everything well, going I mean, on, been, yeah, I I think I mean 
I think getting slaughtered. <laughs> my father always has answered that question. If he, really, if he knew the answer, he wouldn't be working six days a week in the store. That's true. That's true. <laughs> well, thank you again for your time, and you have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you. So this stop alone was definitely worth the trip. If you guys are ever in San Antonio, come on over here to James H. Cohen and Son, and you will not regret it. This place is literally amazing for specialty coins and that type of stuff. So I thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, please hit that thumbs up button and hope to see you guys again on T-Square Talk. Take care, guys.